Hello! So in this video, I am sharing some cool places we visited on Jeju Island over two days. Jeju is a famous island in Korea, loved by locals and tourists. If you are a student in Korea, you've probably been to Jeju many times for conferences. Whether you want to know more about the island or plan to visit, I hope this info is helpful. During our stay in Jeju, we didn't hire a vehicle, so we used public transport to get around. On our bus rides, we saw many tankerin yachts, a signature of Jeju. The first place you can easily visit in Jeju is this palace kind of a place. It is known as Gwangbakjang. I have shared more details about it in a previous video. It's an ancient hall built to train soldiers now open for tourists. It's calm and quiet with opportunities to play ancient games and wander in a tangerine garden, also great for photography. For lunch, finding something to eat in Korea is always easy. I had a noodle soup this time and headed to the next destination. The next place is Jongbang Waterfall. I must say the view is stunning here and why you must add this waterfall to your bucket list is because the waterfall is flowing near the sea. You might already know that I am from Sri Lanka which also can be known as an island of waterfalls but this experience was so new to me. And you know what? It was the first time I saw free dolphins which made the moment even more special. So I recommend going to this waterfall in the evening so that you will be able to witness free dolphins playing in the middle of the ocean. Once again, thank you Jeju for that lovely experience. After leaving the waterfall, we found a seafood restaurant exactly opposite to the entrance to the park. Jeju seafood is the best in Korea with a unique flavor. We enjoyed a tasty fish dish and headed back to the hotel. The second day was sunny and beautiful. Again, we took a bus to another must-visit place in Jeju. That is the Manjangol Lava Cave. So talking about lava caves, there are many in Jeju. Since the island was formed by the eruption of an underwater volcano approximately 2 million years ago. Sounds interesting, right? This cave is the world's 12th longest lava tube and the second longest in Jeju. Not only that, at the end of the tourist area, you can see the world's highest lava column about 7.6 meters high. It's so fascinating to walk inside a lava tube, knowing the island was formed from a volcano and I couldn't stop thinking about Lord of the Rings. Wow, you must go here too. So, it took quite a while to reach and come back from this place. On the way back to the hotel, we found a happening market. I think you already familiar with this market through my earlier video. We tried a lot of Korean street food and bought souvenirs and gifts for friends. It made the tour complete, I guess. Finally, if you visit Jeju, don't forget to go hiking in Hallasan Mountain. It is a massive shield volcano which forms the bulk of Jeju Island. We missed it this time, but let's see. Until then, see you with another video.